In today's session of Divorce Court, love was in the air when Brad met Danita. He dreamed of marrying her and building a life together. But after one and a half years, Brad says the problem is his meddling mother-in-law. Her mom is a constant shadow. Her brother is a shadow. Her dad is a shadow. And I'm getting sick and I'm also getting tired of them budding in my business. He's jealous because he's just he, don't, jealous. he wants me to himself. You're and just jealous. And Your you Honor. want her all to yourself and don't want her to communicate with her family. Why are you afraid if she talks to her mother, she'll leave you? Her and her mama been plotting to leave me. Her mama talking about she's going to take her to the Bahamas and it feels good to be free. Now, Danita Frazier and Brad Monroe face off in today's session of Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Brad Monroe versus Danita Frazier. I understand that after a year and a half of marriage, but a longer period of time together, that you're about to end the relationship altogether. Mr. Monroe? True, Your Honor. My wife, Your Honor, she has been bugging me ever since we've been married about the same situation, the same situation. Her mom is a constant shadow. Her brother is a shadow. Her dad my is a shadow. No shadow. They're constantly in my relationship like I'm married to my them. Mom I'm not married to them, Your Honor. My You're not mom married to her mother? I'm not married to her mom. I'm not married to her and brother. You're not married to her brother? I'm not married to Naren one of them, Your Honor. I'm getting sick and I'm also getting tired of them budding in my business. I'm so getting sick and tired of your mom. Him. So the mother... Sick of her what? This is the mother-in-law problem. This is a mom problem. Her it's, mom... It's his problem. Her mom tried to... Her mom tried to tell problem. me what to do, Your Honor. Her mom can't tell me what to do. She tried to my tell my kids what to do. My mom don't tell you nothing. Is her mother in your house? No. It seems like it. Her no. mom get off work at 5 o'clock. Her mom get off work at 5 o'clock. 5, 10, she's knocking she's in, on my door. So my mom don't even come over every day. Hold on a minute. So the issue here is the mother is shadowing you, the brother is shadowing you, and you feel like you're married to the family instead of your wife. Exactly, and she goes behind my back, and they both all them behind my back sniffering and laughing at me. And if I'm they're just... behind your back sniffing and laughing, how do you know they're doing? Because he's paranoid. paranoid. I might be paranoid, Your Honor. I might be paranoid, I'm going to be honest with you, but I know it's the truth. Why, are you so pa why do you think they're sniffing and laughing behind your back? I caught her talking to her mom on the phone about leaving me. Talking me and about my mother talk about yes. things, but it's not, nothing concerning him. We Is your even... mother at your door at 5, 10? My when she mother gets up don't even come over every day. My mother come over there once a week, if that. He's jealous because... He's just he jealous? Don't, he wants me to himself. He don't want me to communicate with my mother. He don't want me to... Hmm. Say nothing to my mother. It's just like I just supposed to be at home, Brad's wife. Now you got and that. That's it. You're and just jealous, and you Honor. want her all to yourself, and don't want her to communicate with her family. Why are you afraid if she talks to her mother, she'll leave you? Talking? No, I'm not afraid at all. If he was doing her what he was doing, I wouldn't even think about leaving. Her and her mama been plotting to leave me. Her mama talking about she's gonna take her to the Bahamas, and it feels good to be free. Why? No. Wait a minute. You said <laughs> if he do what he was supposed to do at home, if he, hold if, on. He, if, he, if he if he was a husband that came in, worked hard, and came in to me and my kids, he sit there and burn my daughter's shoes. Burn your throw, daughter's oh. shoes. She throw ten from tantrums and burn up and tear up my. Turn, tear up the house. He done tore With up my couch. Respect, he done tore up my kitchen floor. Problem. He done just tore up everything, and I'm Wait sick a minute. of it. You I'm burned sick of your daughter's it. shoes. He burned my daughter's sixty-four dollar shoes, brand new. I burned the shoes. Sixty-four dollar pair. They must have been some tennis shoes, huh? Some tennis shoes. Sixty-four dollar pair. Some tennis bought. shoes you burned? Yes, they was a pair. Why air... would you burn your child's Such tennis shoes? Sick. I mean, it's way deep. He just does little. He just does so much stuff. He tries to control me. He tells me what to wear. That's not why we're here. Her mom call her daddy. Her daddy come over to my house the same night after I unplugged the phone. They come over to my house with her little brother. Her little brother been lifting some little sand weights, and he think he all cocky Whoa. now. So he think he ready to whoop somebody's butt. So they come and knocking on my door. All of a sudden, they want to fight. Marie, they came over there because he snatched the phone out the hook when my mother was talking to him. I was on so the phone. My mother thought something was going on. Uh -oh. with it. My mother thought it was deeper. 
Just like you was talking to your daughter on the phone, you hear her husband yelling and screaming, cussing at you, all, cussing at her all in the background, and he just your phone just cuts off dead. You keep on calling back, and it ain't no line. You think something going so on? She sent so she's in the squad mother, over my, my house. My mother called my daddy and called my little brother to come over there and see what was going on. Cause they thought that you were in danger. They thought I was in danger. Especially they know about him burning up some clothes or something. You said my couch said he he, he burned up a couch. He yeah, ripped it up. Ripped up a liar. He ripped it up in my floor in my kitchen. Floor. Was, and he put, hold on a second. Let me hear this clearly. And he put paint on my um on on the panel of the wood panel in my house. So he ripped up the kitchen floor. He he just tore it up off the floor. Who was he? Superman? <laughs> he he tore just it up off reached the floor. down and pulled the tile up off the floor. I guess he had to cut. It was already a little piece that was up, and he oh, just tore he it just all pulled it. the way. That's okay, I thought not, maybe he. That's was. why I'm not responsible. Wait a minute, and then for he, no floor because you, it was already cut. It was and cut up Ms. this month. Mr. Monroe, we haven't gotten <laughs> to responsibility. I'm just trying to get the information. So he pulled the tile. He pulled the rest of it off, and and he. Cut up a couch? He cut up my couch with a knife. Woo! This is, this is more than cut up a couch. You wore this couch out. He took all the stuffing out. Man, it took you a few hours to cut up this couch, didn't it? He, he just You must have been rampage. mad a long time. I was very upset, and I'm still upset, Your Honor. And you need to be quiet before you get me upset. <laughs> and this is a picture of the tile he ripped off the floor? Yes. And the paneling on the wall, what is this depicting? The paint, he just... Scraped the little paint off? Yeah, he just puts paint on there, just... Oh, just a little bit of white paint? Yeah, he just... Oh, he wasn't too mad that day. <laughs> that was the same day, that was the same day. That paint, the floor, and the couch is all in one day. Okay, but now, relate taking the phone off the wall and why your parents came over. What would make them think something was wrong? Had was there been some incidents before? Was, it was plenty of incidences before. So there had been other incidents of violence? Yes. And your mother felt for your safety. Yeah. And that's why they came over. That's why. I see. Come forward, ma'am. What's your name? Tarina Delaney. Tarina Delaney. Tarina, yes. And you are? I'm Danita's friend. Now, what do you want to tell me about this? Well, the thing that I have to say about Brad is he's a liar. Oh. That, that he is. Brad is a liar. Yes, he is. A big liar. He's a cheater. Danita do not, does not even need to be with Brad anyway. Why do you know she doesn't need to be with Brad? Because they, they don't get along. They, they do argue. But my point is, Brad starts them. How do you know? Because I've been around Brad for 10 I years. Starved. Do you have any concrete evidence of this? Well, yeah, I'm I know, I know for a fact that he's a cheater. Mr. Monroe. I know, I know that for a fact. Oh, you know that for a fact? Yes. You saw it with your own two eyes? Yes, yes. I sure What'd you did. See? What I did you saw see? Brad at the restaurant with some bald-headed girl in Danita's car. He all saw her at the restaurant with a bald-headed girl in Danita's car? <laughs> yes, right. Did you know who the bald-headed girl was? No. Did you know whether I it was a sister? I didn't even care, Did no. you know whether it was a cousin? No, I know did she you wasn't know whether no it was a relative to visiting? To Danita? Did you know who the bald-headed lady was? No, I did not. Do you know every member of Mr. Monroe's family? No, I don't. But he don't kiss his sister. Well, he you don't kiss his sister. Him you just yes. said you saw him at the I, When I, I was driving by, I saw Brad outside hugging up with the little bald-headed girl against Danita's <laughs> car. What's the significance about the woman being bald-headed? So that he knows who I'm talking about. Oh, so you can describe her precisely. Yes. Mm -hmm. I see. That's correct. Were you there when he cut up this couch? No, I wasn't there. And you the witnessed phone. I was on the phone when he was cutting up that couch. What did you hear? I heard him telling Danita, if you go to... Um, what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh. Well, that's what he said. If she goes to, if she goes to Kentucky, that she's not taking nothing with her. So you heard him say that she wasn't taking anything with her? I sure did, that's so right. So is that why he cut up the furniture? Yes. To keep her from taking anything mm -hmm. with her? Okay. She wasn't even going nowhere. I didn't ask you to say anything. Anything else you want to offer, Ms. Delaney? No. All right, you may be seated. Thank you. Thank you. When Divorce Court returns, Brad testifies about why he blames Danita for the violence in their marriage. Your Honor, I feel I shouldn't have to replace nothing because she drove me in that mental state of mind to go crazy like that. That's not her couch. I'm the mastermind behind that couch. Doesn't take much mastermind to go buy a couch. <laughs> if you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com.
Divorce court is back in session in the case of Danita Frazier versus Brad Monroe. Brad says Danita's family has ruined their marriage. I have another witness over here. What's your name? Taji Monroe. What do you have to offer? Monroe. About Danita. Now, this is Brad's problem right no, here. No, about he's Danita. Trying, he, may I hear from the witness, please? About Danita, she's sitting up here talk, showing pictures about all the stuff that he cut up and everything, but my uncle buy everything. It's his. So if he buys I mean, it, he can cut it up? Yeah, and she's talking about him being violent. When she was in Cleveland, if you look at his neck, when she was in Cleveland, that's all she do is sit around scratching him. But you said something take about... two. But he cuts up the furniture and he buys everything. So that you think that gives him the right to cut it up? I it's mean, mine. I feel if it's his, he oh. can do what he want with it. So you think because you buy it all, you can cut it up because it's yours. Your Honor, instead of punching or hitting on my wife, I ain't going to lie. Sometimes I seat, do Mr. hit Monroe. walls. I punch walls. Mr. Monroe, I do destructive type of things. I do. So I you think that. you can destroy the furniture just because you paid for it? I figure like this. Since we are breaking up and we having we get a divorce, that she can't have my stuff. That's how I look at it. When did you buy this stuff? I bought this over the period of time of us being together. So, because you bought it, before I let her have it, I'll destroy it and cut it all up. That's how you feel. <laughs> Is that that's, what you're saying? That's how I felt, Your Honor, because... It's good attitude. Because she tricked me. I said, when I'm leaving from Cleveland, going to Kentucky to better myself, when I get to Kentucky, she dogs me and treats me like I'm nothing and leave you cut up all the furniture. She slashed my tires on my car. I ain't gonna lie, I slashed his tire because he burnt my daughter's shoes. Oh, when he you burnt my daughter's shoes. You hurry up and get away from each That's other before we, you burn we, up the house we finna get and burn up each other. other. Quick. What else did you buy that you think you're entitled to because you bought it? Are you asking me for anything else? I'm asking, Your Honor. I have a $1,000 weight bench. I have a $1,000 entertainment center that um, I'm enrolled in school in Cleveland, Ohio, and I bought that with my, um, some of my loan money that I had left over from buying my books. I bought that stuff. And, the entertainment um, center you bought with the loan money for the books? You were supposed to be buying books no, and going to school. No, I did buy books. I, um, I had a large amount left you over. You were supposed to be buying books and paying for tuition. <laughs> Your Honor, That's I why we're books. in trouble on those student loans now. I bought books, Your Honor. But I also You're using government's money to buy an entertainment center, and there are students out there who need money, who want to go to college, and buy books and pay tuition, and it's people like you that's causing it to be cut. No, Your Honor. I was able to do whatever I wanted to do with the money I had left over once I bought my books for school, Your Honor. That and money I was not given to you to buy an entertainment center. Now, what else? And um, I got a weight bench, entertainment center. I let her have a screen TV. You didn't uh, let me have nothing. He sold my TV. That's and, all and, I and want, Your Honor. And me and him went half on the screen, so it was mine anyway. That's all I want, Your Honor, is... The entertainment no, center, the weight bench. The entertainment center, the weight bench, and um, my water bed. So that's all that's left now that you've cut up everything, isn't it? Like he said, he wanted to leave me with nothing. Isn't that that's, all that's left? That's all is that's left. Is there anything left. else left? There's nothing left. It's something left. She got the screen TV. She got the refrigerator. It was mine. He sold she my got TV. The, she got the refrigerator. She got the stove. She got the my, two cars. My father bought the refrigerator stove. Refrigerator? Yeah, refrigerator and stove. My father bought it. Two cars? She got the two cars, yes. That's junk. What type of cars? They don't even work. I haven't, I haven't had so many cases I'm with having... people having cars that don't work. <clears throat> Do you have two cars? They don't work. I mean... So why don't you sell them? Because his is, the car that he's referring to that's supposed to be his. And she slashed the tires. The engine's gone. Bought a lemon. My car, they don't even know what's wrong with it. All right. Anything else left in the house that you would want? Yeah, I want to keep. Since he finished cutting up stuff? I want to keep my TV. I want to keep my entertainment center. So there are two entertainment centers? No, just one. The same one that he bought with the government money? I have, I, I don't feel like. I think I'm entitled to that. Me and him been together for all this time. Me and him done helped each other buy things. I done helped him get back and forth to Cleveland. I didn't ask for none of all that money back. I done gave him money just out of my pocket, just out of the goodness That's of my heart. That's what husbands and wives do for each so other. So why can't I, I be entitled to this entertainment center? I don't feel, I feel like it's ours. And what else? And that's... You that's, want him to replace this couch? I want him to replace my couch. That's not her couch. I'm the mastermind behind that couch. I'm the mastermind behind that couch. I Doesn't take much couch. mastermind and to I go buy a couch. I want him. <laughs> Your Honor. So you're not saying much because it doesn't take much of a mind to go buy a couch. <laughs> Your Honor, mastermind I want him to behind the couch. Mike um, wood panel in my kitchen floor also. I'm sorry. 
the, the kitchen floor he got to replace because that's not my house. My landlord's going to charge me to replace that. And the panel that he put paint on, that whole panel part got to be replaced. That one little panel? That panel got to be replaced. Your Honor, I feel I shouldn't have to replace nothing because she drove me in that mental state of mind to go crazy like that. <laughs> I'm going to take a break and see if I can digest the whole thing. Court will be, be at back. recess. When divorce court returns, the judge renders her verdict. If you don't take control of that anger, you're going to be in trouble. And an update on the case of Elizabeth Scott versus Charles Scott. How much money did you invest in phone sex, cyber sex, etc.? I said close to four thousand dollars. Four thousand yes. dollars in phone bills for sex. Yes. Divorce court will be back in session in a moment. Divorce court is back, and the verdict is in. In the case of Danita Frazier, who wants a divorce because she says she can no longer take her husband Brad's temper. Back in the matter of Brad Monroe versus Danita Frazier. If it looks like I have a somber appearance, it's because as I sat in chambers and thought about this case, it really caused me some grief. You need to control your anger. You have to learn to control it. Cutting up the couch says that you're out of control. Hitting walls says I'm out of control. I'm thankful that you didn't hit your wife or another person. What I'm saying to you is you need to learn what to do when you're upset and how to handle anger. Well, I'm, go I'm going to counseling. That's what I'm about to order, anger management counseling. And if you're already in it, then we're on the same track. And I'm glad to hear that. Because you seem to have something going for yourself. You're working, you're doing the right things. But if you don't take control of that anger, you're going to be in trouble. Yes. Your anger has cost you. That's another thing. When you do st silly stuff like that, you have to pay for it. What your anger has cost you is you're going to have to replace that floor on the kitchen. And you're going to have to replace that paneling. The property is rented. The landlord will charge your wife. You destroyed it. That didn't benefit the marriage. You're going to pay for it. That's my order. The entertainment center. You bought it with government money. And I really hate to give it to either one of you. But since you bought it during the marriage, and although it was bought with government money and under normal circumstances, that was your student loan money, I would give it to you. But you tore up the couch. You cut it up. That's what you said. She's getting the entertainment center. My entertainment center, Your Honor? Your entertainment center. You can get the weight bench and the water bed. Entertainment center is awarded to the wife. That's the order of the court. When divorce court returns, an update on the case of Elizabeth Scott versus Charles Scott. The only time you could have sex with me is when I was sleeping because I wouldn't touch you otherwise, you filthy thing. Closed captioning for divorce court provided by... If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in divorce court. Elizabeth Scott's marriage to Charles lasted only one and a half years before she brought him to divorce court. Besides wanting an end to the marriage because she said he was sexually and emotionally abusive, he wanted me to do awful sexual things that no woman should have to do. She also wanted Charles to repay her for the charges he ran up on her credit card bill for telephone and cyber sex. How much money did you invest in phone about sex, cyber sex, etc.? I said close to $4,000. $4,000 yes. in phone bills for sex? Yeah. In her ruling, the judge explained to Elizabeth that marital law meant that the debt was hers as well as Charles. And since he had given her a car, he had met his legal obligation to repaying the money. You have been adequately compensated, and there has been fairness when he gave you the vehicle, and that you have to assume the debt. 
Elizabeth was disappointed but said she understood the ruling. Since then, she has tried to look to the future with her new fiancé, whom she says treats her like a queen. And she plans to take Charles back to court soon to force him to pay child support. I think the verdict was fair. I just wish that um, I could have got really compensated for the couch with money instead of the entertainment center. But I think it was fair. Danita is a liar. Her mom's a liar. I can't stand no one in her family. And I'm moving back to Cleveland. Will you ever get married again? No. No. I just be by myself. I don't want to never marriage. No more marriages for me.